Hey, the name's Cruel. That's King Rob Rule. Recently, I made a beginner's guide for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and I heavily emphasized the importance of using the MHGU app. So I thought it would be helpful if I made a quick guide on this app, just so you can start using it quickly and effectively. Keep in mind, I am recording this on an Android device, so if you're using iOS, it may look a little bit different, but the principles should all be the same. In the main menu, you will see you have a list of options to choose from. You will see monsters, weapons, armor sets, quests, items, etc. The most important ones that you will get the most use out of are quests, armor set builder, and the wish lists tool. You can use the other menus, but it is just as easy to use the search function at the top right of the app to find anything specific you may be looking for at any given moment. Finding information from the other menus can be a bit of an information overload, so just be wary of that. When you go to the quest menu, you will be presented with the village quest by default, but you can filter the type of quest at the top of the screen to guild quests, event quests, and permit quests. For clarity, the village quests are the single player only quests, guild are the default multiplayer quests, Event quests are special quests that are themed after one thing or another, and permit quests are for the deviant monsters. When you choose the star rating that matches up with where you are up to in the game, you'll see a yellow icon named Key next to some of the quests. These are the quests that you need to complete before receiving an urgent quest that will open up the next batch of quests. In other words, these are the bare minimum quests you will need to complete in order to progress through the game. The wishlist tool is a useful way of keeping track of materials that you have gathered for your desired armor sets and weapons, without having to constantly go back to the smithy to see if you have enough to make what you want. To add an armor set to your wishlist, first create a new wishlist and name it whatever you want. I named this one Tetsukabra because I'm using that as a demonstration. Next, search for the armor set you want and press the plus icon in the top right of the screen to add to your wishlist. Now return to your wishlist, select the same wishlist you created earlier, and you will see all the armor pieces will be added to it. If you press the materials menu above, you will see all the materials needed to craft the set. And you can go ahead and start putting in the amount of materials you have and adding more as you go gain more materials. This isn't exclusive to full sets though, you can add any armor pieces or weapons to a wishlist and keep track of materials the same way. Similar to the wishlist, there is an armor set builder which you can use to play around with custom builds in order to make alternative sets. However, I don't use this function a lot because I haven't dabbled in making custom sets as of yet, so I won't pretend to be an expert. Just know it's a tool that you can use if you choose to. Finally, if there is anything you are unsure about, the search function is an excellent tool to use. Whether it is a skill you want to know about, an item you need to find, a monster weakness you want to learn, the search function has you covered. Just type what you want to know about, and the app will give you the information you want to know. Also, know that many icons lead to more information. For example, in this armor set, it says I need Nagakuga Scale Plus. To find it, you tap on the icon and it will give you a long list of options for obtaining it whether it be through quests, locations, monsters, etc. This is particularly useful for crafting armor sets because some materials are extremely rare and hard to obtain. For these materials, simply click their icon and the app will detail how to obtain it and the percentage rate of success. This is much more effective than simply grinding a monster and hoping to get the materials you need. This isn't limited to monster parts though, you can do the same for any kind of material in the game, even bugs, ore, fish, herbs, etc. You can also look up monsters and find information about them. When searching for Diablos here, it indicates its weaknesses, items that are effective against it, and where you can expect to find it on the map. The app will also provide data on the best ways to damage the monster, what materials will drop from it, and the quests it appears in. So that was my quick guide to the MHGU app. I hope you found it useful when starting up the game. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. 
I stream on Twitch three days per week, and I also have all the other social medias like Instagram and Twitter and all that. Um, I'll provide links to them in the description so you can go follow me on all those places. And if you do so, you'll be able to keep up to date with everything I'll be doing in the future. Next week, I'm thinking of doing a review on Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Anyway, I've been King Rob Brule, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!